Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight's play is a mash-mish of entertainment. I would call it mish-mash, but John from Arkansas has dibs on that. Our play will start after these words from our sponsor. Acid indigestion and a headache too When they come to bring you brief Alka-Seltzer gives relief Alka-Seltzer Alka-Seltzer Well, if you think of the potatoes are over, then uh, you're wrong. I still have one row of those red ones at, towards the end of the fence there. And I happened to find some, uh, some old leftovers from the original potatoes that I planted. They didn't have any, uh, any eyes on there, so I threw them under the sink and I forgot about them. And that was over three months ago. And I had about 10, 10 pieces with eyes on there. And so, you know what I did? I planted them right there in front of the gnome. Only 10 of them. I planted them kind of close together. Just for the hell of it. I don't know if they're going to grow. But if I'm lucky, I might have some potatoes for Thanksgiving. This is my plan B. <laughs> okay, I've had a few inquiries about, uh, about what type of program I use to edit my, uh, my videos. I use a uh, Sony Movie Maker 13. I also recently got uh, Sony Vegas Pro, which was quite uh, expensive. But uh, here you see a, uh, a typical video. This one is from uh, the 1942 Philco 42 340 Part 6. As you can see, Here's my, uh, this is my uh, intro. This is uh, all done just before I render it. And you can see all the, uh, all these here, you see in here, these are sound effects. You can see how many is on this one, all on this row. Right here is the video uh, section. All these little things are a different piece of a uh, video. You can see how many is in there. Sometimes there's hundreds, uh, hundreds of cuts and different pieces in here. And uh, if we go closer on it. You can see uh, all these little lines and, and uh, squares here. These are volume levels that I have to adjust for each uh, for each clip here, and also my narration because I have a not a very steady voice. It goes up and down, up and down, so I've got to even it out. And I use the the little meter over here on top. I'll just play a little bit over here. I want you to choose wisely. It starts off with zero. Ah. Now, turn it up. You'll notice... Uh, you can see how it... Uh, I just want to get it almost to the top and barely in the red. If it goes in the red real high, then I've got to take it and move it down. It's done like this. If you watch it, I can... Uh, I can lower the volume here, or I can raise it up. Or if I wanted to uh, say this, 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 this thing right here, going up, as you can see. Okay. Now, if I wanted to bring that up, I would uh, click on this, bring it up, play it back, and keep going up, as you can see. Or I wanted to lower it. Up, as you can see. 
So that's that's how I, I try to get all the, the volume levels uh, at an even rate. There's nothing worse than uh, having a video when you got one part of it real loud and then then you can barely hear it. And that's what would happen to my videos if I did not do this. This next bottom track here is all my uh, my uh, music. I usually put that on the bottom. And I can uh, I can mute this and just play the music here. But we also got cabinet worked. Oops, gotta mute the uh, the video track and the uh, sound effect track, and we just have the music here. I usually start my videos playing this song. This is by the Bohunks. They play the Little Rascals music and the Laurel and Hardy music. They're a Dutch band. And they made this record in 1995. And this particular uh, song is called In My Canoe. You recognize that, I believe. So that, that usually starts up my video. And if we unmute that, we can go play some of the sound effects to see what this here is. I object. Who? Oh, he will object. On what grounds? I couldn't think of anything else to say. Objection sustained. Your Excellency, you sustained the objection. Sure, I couldn't think of anything else to say either. Why don't you object? <laughs> That's one of my favorites. You got Marx Brothers, and I like to throw in uh, uh, Three Stooges, Lowell and Hardy, Abbott and Costello. I've got uh, about 5,000 uh, uh, clips in my library and I add to them each time I do a video. Let's see what this clip is here. I'm a bad boy! <laughs> yeah, Abbott and Costello. That was Lou Costello. There's some of my uh, sound effects as I'm checking the meter. So this gives you an idea of the work it takes to put uh, one video together. Now uh, there's probably a couple, I don't know, maybe a hundred uh, individual sounds. And then you add to that all these uh, volume levels that I have to do here. It all goes into making one video. And believe me, it's a full-time job. If you look back on some of my first uh, videos, I mean, they were kind of pathetic, as I guess we all are when we first start. Right now, I try to get everything right. If I'm going to spend time doing this, let's get it right. So what? We know that's not working right. That's why it causes uh, a noise. And so that's how I do it. Sony Movie Studio Platinum 13 and Sony Vegas Pro. There you go. We're going to make some uh, fried potatoes. I've already cut up a couple here. I can't believe how incredibly uh, fresh these are. I'm going to cut that. You know, when I was a kid, my mom did this. I used to snatch some, like the end piece, and eat it. Sprock. Can't believe how incredibly crunchy that is. We'll come back when uh, when they're all cooked. Okay, they're almost done. They look pretty damn good, huh? Let's see if I can steal a piece here.
Mmm. Pretty good. Well, today is August the 26th. There is my Plan B potatoes. Looking pretty good. You know, I planted them all bunched up like that. Because I only had like 10, 10 pieces, so I just put them all in one pile there. Anyway, today I'm going to dig up the, uh, the fourth row of my red potatoes. And I've got my handy dandy little spoon. I got a handy dandy box. And I'm going to dig that fourth row up and see what we get. And I will show you that harvest of the fourth row as soon as I'm finished. Well, it's about an hour later. It's really hot today and it took me about an hour to dig up that uh, that last row. As you can see, I got uh, a nice crop from that fourth row. I got the scale on there. It's like 17, 18 pounds. So I did really good this year. It's kind of funny because uh, the ground is very hot, but you just dig about three inches under the ground. It's nice and cool. I think I'll show you my sunflower that I planted. It's uh, it's looking pretty good. Poor John the Scarecrow has been beheaded. Hope ISIS didn't get him. But you never know. If Buzz can show off his radios, then I can show off mine. I just love that little ditty. Okay, here's my delicious dinner I've got. I've got my fresh red potatoes here. In fact, I'm going to put some, some gravy on those. And look what we have here. You guys remember that? That was the heart potato when I was digging up the potatoes. Look at that. Shaped like a heart. And a broken heart at that. And I just baked it and it looks yummy. Just just uh, slice it. And just pour some gravy on it. Mmm. Look at that. Got pork chops, corn on the cob, baked potatoes, my own garden. Let me try to eat this. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Won't taste like a heart at all. It tastes like a potato. Mmm. Oh, that was good. <clears throat> Even Buzz couldn't eat all those potatoes, but I'll tell you, that was damn good. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. Well, Buzz had an accident here. Split the skin. And I didn't want to go get no stitches, so I put some super glue on it. Super glue. Be careful you don't cut yourself. I heard that you can use that so far as working if it doesn't come open anymore. Bonds in seconds with amazing strength without clamps, mixing, or mess. Get crazy glue today. 
You're probably looking at this and saying, Godfrey Daniel! What is it? You've probably never seen anything like this before, and you probably never will. In fact, this may be the only one in existence. Well, this is a computer, believe it or not. The name of the company I worked for was called Findex. And this is the product they made. I started working there in 1979. And I was there probably a couple of years before it went out of business. So we're going to clean this up before we look, take a look at it. There's the Findex logo of the company. As I was saying, uh, this is probably made, this particular computer, in 1980. But this is where I got my feet wet uh, with computers. I worked there as an assembler and we put these together. And if they didn't work, well, you had to figure out what was wrong with it. I'm going to open up the cover and you can see what it consists of. And I'll describe uh, it a little bit better here. You ready? Yes. It's got two latches on the... Oh, it's dusty in there. This top. Whoa! Be careful! You're gonna break that! Well, it used to come off. There it goes. Danger! High voltage! 110 volts. Hey, hey, hey! Be careful! Be careful! Let me get the cover out of the way. There it is. What is this doohickey? It had a printer built in. In fact, the ribbon is still here. I used to fix printers. I was a pretty good printer guy. And here's the display. They called this a plasma display. Not like the plasma TV screens here. But I believe it uses plasma gas in there. And this is, was pretty unique. The designer uh, of this uh, was Dan Ney. They call this a stack board assembly. And I believe it was invented by uh, Dan Ney, who is from uh, Palos Verdes in California in the Los Angeles area. And this is the ROM board. These are EEPROMs here. Remember I used to program these. And all these boards fit in to a stack. That's why they called it a stack board assembly. Oh really? I'm not going to undo all those. Anyway, I believe the max memory on these was 64K. Oh my god! Not 64 meg, 64K memory. They also sold them at 16K memory. I believe this is a 64. Let me show you the, the rear of it. That's the printer. Got some rust there. These were Centronic printers. The guts of a Centronics printer. And it's a dot matrix printer. Down here we have the I.O. ports. These are uh, serial ports. They call these the SIO because there's an SIO board in there. And these were like uh, 300 bucks. They were fixed rates. This stock like channel one was uh, 300 baud. I think this was uh, 12, uh, something like that. And the, the most was, I think, 24 baud. 2400 baud was the fastest one. This was a uh, parallel interface board. And they call that the PIO board, one of these separate boards in here. And this thing here is for a separate uh, drive. 
that ran on five and a quarter floppies. Operating system was CPM, which was control programming for microprocessors. And it uh, booted up to a, uh, an A prompt and it, it had basic, the programs in there were basic programs. The last time this uh, was plugged in was about five or six years ago and it came on for about uh, five to ten seconds and then shut down, which I believe the power supply probably got some uh, old caps in there that need to be replaced and the power supply is underneath the keyboard here. Okay, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna plug it in and then I'm gonna hit any key here and that will bring up the computer in debug mode and it's going to display a byte of information and it keeps scrolling by. What happens is that is writing to the memory and reading it back and displaying it and it, it was just a good test for uh, when we were trying to burn these in try to get the bugs out of them. Okay, here goes nothing. Oh, dear me. I don't look too good. <laughs> you broke it. Actually, when I was working at NEC, I took it to NEC and I was running it uh, for a few days, and that was like uh, 15 years ago, so. It's probably been 15 years since it worked, but you can hear the fan, and uh, we do get a display, so it's not completely dead. Pretty neat, huh? Let's let's just uh, unplug some of these cables. Hey. So there you have it. The Findex microcomputer. I believe uh, this ran at uh, originally at two and a half megahertz and uh, this one I believe is four megahertz can you believe that so it's saying is we have a question mark here so one of these days I'm gonna see if I can restore this I think it's pretty interesting what do you think the find X well that's our story for this evening Good night.